any introductory remarks and welcome Dave, lovely Absolutely. to see you. Um, you have the fantastic Dave Komu in front of you, um, who is the chairman <coughs> of the Ethnic People's Panel um, and has really done a fantastic job in shepherding the, the panel through some, we'll call them ups and downs. Um, and so we've had a fantastic, I'll call it a debriefing time at our last meeting, um, where we've acknowledged some of the challenges as well as many of the good times. And um, I wish to acknowledge not just Dave, of course, but everyone on the panel um, for their real commitment um, to understanding, I think at the beginning of the term, what exactly the panel was for. Um, and it won't be just this panel, but many panels um, had to go through a, we'll call it a readjustment um, for what, um, what they understood last term to what it is this term and the emphasis being on advisory. Um, so we had some, some many months of adjustment um, to, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here, um, to understand where and how and what and who um, the panel would be for. I'm not sure, Madam Chairwoman, that we've still got it nailed. Uh, I think we need to, and there's been a review process that's been um, undertaken now, and we need to really listen carefully to some of the contributions by those who have um, had input to that review. Um, for this next term, I think that for those who are here in the new term, we need to step back, um, look at the, the comments from that review and um, do some blue sky thinking for the future of panels. Um, but that is not at all to take away from the contribution that people like Dave made. So Dave, thank you and congratulations for your leadership. Um, <coughs> through some tough times and I know that the comments you're about to make will be thoroughly reflective of the good work that the people on the panel have done. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Crum. I'd just like to know councillors are finished conferring about standing orders, I'm sure. Or behaving. Councillors will just... I think it's probably something to do with women. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare comment, but I suspect there could be. So, Dave, warm welcome, and um, I want to acknowledge you in your leadership role with the panel, but also in your leadership role out there in the community. And you and I seem to see each other at so many events. I, um, I know you're spread pretty thinly out there. So, thank you so much, and thank you for being here. So, your comments on the highlights of the panel. Thank you. I grew up in a village where people <coughs> shared work, play, and food, and it was a community. <coughs> Times have changed as communities and people move into cities, and we lost that community connectedness. Here today, you may pardon me for this expression, we can talk till the cows come home, because it is action that uh, we need to bring back that cohesion. That village is now a multi-ethnic city we call our Auckland. We, the People's Advisory uh, Panel, love doing what you appointed us to do, that is to provide strategic advice to you, the Council, on matters of significance to ethnic communities. I have been uh, privileged to be the chair of this panel. It is a panel of talented individuals who meet regularly to discuss matters close to the hearts of ethnic communities. We are Japanese, Sri Lankan, Chinese, Fijian, Malaysian, Indian, and African. Yes, you can truly say we are ethnic. We are proud of what we have achieved in our three-year term as the second offering of the Ethnic People's Advisory Panel. EPUB 2.0, as we fondly call ourselves, and I think we deserve that nickname, especially after going through a rough patch. I believe that we have been able to provide input and recommendations for your consideration over a number of topics that are key to the delivery of better services to ethnic communities across the region. Of this, a few stand out as clear highlights for noting 
and potentially for acknowledgement by you, the governing body. Our greatest desire is to achieve greater participation in civic affairs from across various ethnic communities, to have open and frank conversation between council and these ethnic communities, to create trust and foster an intergenerational symbiotic relationship across the board. This panel provided in-depth advice on the long-term plan and supported the consultation process with ethnic communities through the Have Your Say events. The panel advised on various council strategies and policies, some of which are the long-term plan, local approved product policy, community grant policy, more accessible council services for newcomers, local government elections to attract ethnic peoples and younger peoples to vote, greater integration by refugees into the fabric of Auckland. The existence and functions of the panel may be hazy to some members here present and to many members of the public. We had some engagement during our term that we hoped would raise the panel's visibility and facilitate greater engagement. You may recall that back in um, April 2015, I was here in front of you presenting the panel's recommendations on the long-term plan. I presented to the Community Development and Safety Committee meeting in um, uh, Panama in August 2015. I also presented at the 2015 Diversity Forum, which highlighted the panel's support for harmonious race relations in Auckland. <coughs> in April this year, 2016, the panel co-hosted the Ethnic Engagement Forum in, in partnership with AUT University. <coughs> New Zealand Federation of Multicultural Councils, Migrant Action, uh, Action Trust, and the UEE. The forum focused on ethnic communities' engagement with Maori and the way ethnic communities are represented in the media. The theme was, I know what the media tells you, but do you know who I am? When we started uh, at the beginning of our term, we were aware that our term as a panel is a narrow window of operation, and therefore we had to be strategic <coughs> in what we advise on if we were to have an impact at all. The panel focused on uh, significance and engagement policy and engagement guidelines for ethnic communities. We are of the hope that the policy and guidelines now contained in the underlying principle of the Council's engagement with ethnic peoples in Auckland some of our contributions are in there. <coughs> the panel also recommended to the chief executive that Auckland Council develop an ethnic engagement strategy. And the last time I was here, <coughs> in front of you, I was informed that the document already exists within council. Yes, we acknowledge that um, the significance engagement policy came into effect on the 1st of December 2014. Auckland's ethnic community is the largest of all demographic communities. It encompasses the young, seniors, disabled, and the rainbow. But pardon me again, this time for using a culinary term such as, <laughs> for such important matters. We are marinating Auckland. <laughs> when cooking time comes, will it be the taste that we had in mind when we started to mix all those spices? Not all policies work the same across the board, but a pinch of this and a lot of that might just do it. We only need to look at what's happening in Europe and USA now to realize that we need to have our ingredients <coughs> right from the start, right now for tomorrow. You are the master chefs. And the ideas that we share together are the spices. Let's get those mixtures right in, in our marinade for a palatable offering tomorrow. <coughs> Being conscious of time, let me leave you with, the, with experts from writings of uh, David Hume. He says, your corn is ripe today. Mine will be so tomorrow. It is profitable for us both that I should labor with you today and that you should aid me tomorrow. 
At the end, Dave Hume says, the seasons change and both of us lose our harvest for lack of mutual confidence and security, unquote. I love this city, and I know you do too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Dave. Hugely appreciated. And a timely reminder that with everything that's going on in the world, it's indeed a time when we, we need to be able to sit across the table and talk. And just acknowledging again your role with the African community when we had the slightly tense time with our African youth. You know, that was when we needed to lean into our wise heads and um, seek advice. And because we've got the ethnic panel, we knew where to go. Questions or comments? Councillor Filipaina. Uh, thank you, Chair, and, and also thank you, Dave. Um, question is, do you think your panel has added value to Auckland Council? That's one question. Second question is, your thoughts about whether it should continue uh, the advisory panel, namely your, the ethnic one, into the new term of council? I believe we have added value. Uh, what I would like to see is how what our contribution is received. Uh, this is lacking at the moment be, between us as a panel, which you really w w put into place. <coughs> so if that gap could be filled, uh, I'm sure everyone will be happy because we always talk about closing the loop and uh, we come, we spent, we have other lives. We come here very dedicated, we contribute, it goes in the system. We understand you have other, other matters to do, mm -hmm. but if that gap could be closed, I'm sure I will be happy. But yes, we have made contributions, and um, when we look at um, some of um, your resolutions, there's a little bit of what we recommended in there. But it would be very good if we could close that loop. Continuing of um, the panel, absolutely. When um, uh, the Jenkins um, group came to for consultations, we highly recommended that um, the panel continues, not only our panel, but all six panels. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Philippina. Any other questions? If not, Dave, thank you for presenting on behalf thank of the you. panel. Lovely to see you. And finally, we've got our Pacific panel. So I think we've got Safita and Sam. And, oh, Sina. 